Say rolling round, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. Since I'm going back on another video, I'm Strange Wayne, he is Nate. The month of February, we are going to go back and look at great film years. 2022 wasn't too bad, but we're going to be looking at even better years, so we're going to have another one. We did 2017, 2018 last week, but this week we are doing 1989. What a banger of a year. So, if we haven't seen the movie, some rules real quick. If we haven't seen the movie, I'm going to the haven't seen section. If one of us has seen it, they get the final say in it. If we both seen it, we obviously get to argue on where it gets to go. But, what do we have first? Uh, we have A City of Sadness. I haven't seen it. Never seen that. Me neither. Must be a banger, though. The Dry White Season. Never seen that either. Me neither. All right, Nightmare on Elm Street. Number five, that is. And that, you, I'm assuming you haven't seen that movie. I have not. All right, that movie. Is it going to screw you good. up if I scroll down a yes. little bit? Well, I can't see them. Yeah, you'll be all right. Okay. Um, it's a bad movie. Throw in an F. Yeah, I have not seen that. I am, the more we add to these, I am not going to be able to see them. Okay. All right, after Midnight? I've never seen, seen that. that. <laughs> All Dogs Go to Heaven. I've definitely seen that. You ever seen this I, movie? I enjoy it. Yeah, I, I think enjoy it's both a good of movie. Them. Yeah. Is B too high? I don't think so. That's what I was thinking. B? Yeah. So, B it. Back to the Future 2. You're not a fan of these movies. Yeah. I'm even a less of a fan of a Back to the Future 2 than I am of 1. Really? I don't have a problem admitting that they are well-made movies, though. I just... So, personally, I would put this in A tier. And I'm assuming you're going to C or D? I probably would have said B. Alright, B it is, then. And we got some goat shit right here. Batman, Batman 89... 89. That's us, dog. Yeah, I was about to say, like, if you're talking in terms of, like, if you're looking at it in terms of movies that came out in 1989, this has to be. You can scroll. Up there. Like. I'm going to click out of that. I'm not paying a shit. All right. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I'm going B2. Yeah. Like, it's a fun movie. Nothing life-changing about it, though. What do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, yeah, it's just fun. It's just, like... I saw seeing the third one. It got really good reviews. Yeah, I mean, it's just, like... Let's just hang out with these two idiots for a while. But, like, they're also smart. But they're really dumb. And I just... I gotta, like, Bill and Ted is such, like, an anomaly. Like, that... People talk about, like, what movies would and... Wouldn't and could and couldn't be made today... 100% could be made today. Huh? 100% could be made today. I don't think anyone would make... Like, so, I think it could be made today, but I just don't think anyone would make it. Like, I don't yeah. think that, I don't think a studio would take a gamble on this type of premise these days. And that and that makes me sad, because... Yeah, because they're all making fucking... It is fun, but... Super bad ripoffs. Right. Yes. Um... Someone, like, last week said I look like Keanu Reeves and Bill and Ted... Because they have a hair length. Because you have dark hair and a kind of long I'm face. I'm Yeah, whatever. I don't see it. Yeah, I would I love to like Keanu Reeves, though. Yeah. That dude must get laid a ton. Probably. Black Rain, that's a shitty movie. Never seen it. It is so fucking awful. It's like... You remember that movie a couple years back? That had Jared Leto and the, uh... Akuza? Oh, yeah. And he saves the day? Mm-hmm. That's that movie. It's just fucking Michael Douglas beating up a bunch of Asians. Huh. <laughs> it's not a very good movie. So where are you putting it? That's an F dog. It. Okay. Blaze. Never heard of it. No, yep, me neither. Born on the 4th of July. Unfortunately, I've seen This is one I've been trying to get my hands on. I haven't seen it streaming anywhere. Hmm. They're not re-releasing this on 4K, and I haven't seen it on the shelves. I would blind buy that for sure. I just haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it? No. 
Um, yeah, it's a really good movie. Uh, I think it kind of stands out in Tom Cruise's catalog in terms of like, it's a little more of the serious side. You can know what it's about, right? Yeah. He comes yeah. back from war and he's fucking pissed because they don't get the respect they, yeah. he thinks they deserve. Um, he ain't got no legs, so you're the damn, right? Yeah, right. Uh, I feel like B's gonna get really stacked, but like, I don't feel comfortable with A and I don't feel comfortable with C, so I'm gonna put it there. My war game is fucking off. Your what? My war game's off. Oh, well, have you seen... Casualties of War? Casualties of War? I have not. Me neither. I'm not a big... I'm not a big Sean Penn guy. I love Sean Penn. He's fucking great. Chances are? I haven't seen it. Is that Robert? I think it's Robert Downey Jr. Downey Jr.? Yeah. Never seen it, though. Misdemeanors? Nah. No, never seen it either. You ever seen Dad? I haven't seen mine, and I haven't seen that one either, dog. <laughs> Have you seen Dead Calm? No. Me neither. I've seen 32 out of the list of movies we have here. Mm-hmm. I think it's like 40, so I felt safe to like watch it. There's, yeah. There's some really good movies on well, here. Well, the more I'm looking at it, we're definitely going to get into... Some banger territory. All right, Dead Poet Society. I have thoughts about this movie. You Me s- too. you seen this movie? Like, I don't want to get... No one watches our videos. So, fuck it. I'll give my honest opinion. Put that shit in D. That shit's overrated as fuck. I honestly completely agree with you. I wasn't going to say that C. People show... People love to put that one clip of him giving the big speech and getting on the desk and, the, you know, and all this stuff. Man, this movie is corny as shit. Yeah. Like, it is not a good movie. Like, he ain't talking about his wife farting or nothing in that movie. Fuck that movie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, going from something that is wildly overrated to something that is not, we have Do the Right Thing. I think un- Do the Right Thing is underrated. Yeah, I do too. Now I know people talk about that movie. Yeah, I agree. I'm going S2. I think people don't want to talk about that movie. And that's, that's fair. The, that's the problem. That's fair. Yeah, I. it's not going in C. It's just a placeholder. I wholeheartedly agree with you. This is absolutely an S tier movie. This movie is so good. That's how I felt about Queen of Slum. Like, so important. That's an incredibly important movie. The year that movie came out, no one talked about it. Like, obviously, they reviewed it, and they were like, oh, it's really, really, really good. And then no one talked about it afterwards. Yeah. Well, what and I... And the hate you give? No one really talked about that afterwards either. Because people don't want to talk about that. I know. They should be talking about that, but they don't want to. You know, this, this came out in 1989. This came out before Rodney King. And, like... Look what fucking happened. Yeah. Like, you know. It's still relevant to this day. And I love how it's like, it goes, well, I guess it went this way. Uh, Fruitville Station route. Yeah. Copied this. Let's have a normal fucking day. And then and, shit just hits the face. Yeah. It boils like, over. pops over, yeah. off. Like, obviously not over nothing because these characters are real people and like, they are in this environment all the fucking time. Yeah. So this shit could have been boiling for a hot minute now. But for us... This shit came out of nowhere. Yeah. Just like that trash can. Yeah. Right. Um, all right, Driving Miss Daisy. You ever seen Driving Miss Daisy? It's fine. Yeah. I think as the years go on, it's losing that classic territory. I give it a C. Yeah, I was thinking C too. One of the like He ain't still those peaches. <laughs> one of the worst Cause this won Best Picture, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. One of the worst Best Picture winners in my my opinion. I don't know. I think for the time, that would probably open up some a few white people's eyes up. <sighs> Maybe. I don't... Alright, so... If we're talking about movie... You know how... Alright, you know how Green Book came out and then everyone was like, oh, like, this is just another white savior movie, blah, blah, blah. I think Driving Miss Daisy... I don't... I think people blew up about Green Book too much. I think sure. Driving Miss Daisy is what everyone wanted to make Green Book out to be. I, I think don't... that's fair. But I think Driving Miss Daisy did have a purpose, especially in 89. Yeah. I think it probably like, we've was come really a, good. We've come a long way since 1989. But, but if, also not that far. If we ever do like top five m- movies that made white people realize they were a little bit racist, <laughs> that's my number two. Remember the Titans was my clear number one. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, Drugstore Cowboy? Very hipster-esque. I've never seen it. I think you would really like that movie. I probably this would. This is an independent film. Um, I go C. I'm looking what's in B right now, and I can't justify it. Okay. A Love Story? I haven't seen it. Me neither. 
I need a love story. All right. Field of Dreams, baby. To the top. Yeah. To the moon. Well, that's not really that far away if you look behind Kevin Costner on that poster. It's true. Yeah. But Field of Dreams, such a... <coughs> I went in this like completely blind. I think we both did. I think we watched this because of that Kevin Costner top five we did for that movie where he goes and saves his grandson with his wife. Yeah. <laughs> that I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> We have a review on the channel somewhere, but I watched this movie thinking it was just a baseball movie, and it was everything but a baseball movie. It was so much more. Yeah. The only thing I knew about this movie going into it was that there were baseball ghosts. I didn't know there were ghosts. And Lawrence Fishburne, and that was it, in a cornfield. But that was like, literally... The, Lawrence and, Fishburne's in this? You're thinking James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, but it was incredible. Blew my blew my socks off. Uh, did not expect to feel as emotionally attached to that movie as I did. Freaking loved it. I think we should have got rid of the E tier. Um, e tier is wasteful. Waste of space. Yeah, I agree. But that's where I'm probably gonna. But we get rid of it. Can't is, is it that easy? Yeah, delete that shit. Fuck your row. Okay. Sweet. All right, Friday the Thirteenth. Jason takes Manhattan. Hilariously bad, but it's good. Okay. So I'll put it in D tier. It's better than the Friday the Thirteenth. I mean, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Um. This boy needs some glasses. Ghosts can't do it. No. Never seen any of you. I wonder if a ghost could do it. Would you get fucked by a ghost if it could do it? Yeah. Why not? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 back to back ghosts yeah you could even say they're ass to ass is the ghost visible or is it like invisible no nah, it's like a Casper ghost well, you can see it it's white but is it like does it have like a Casper like form or does it look like a person no it's more, like I'm not trying to get more like a mermaid from, like, I'm like not, I'm not trying to clap Slimer's cheeks you know nah, it's more well he's got cheeks for real <laughs> It's more like a mermaid, I would envision. <laughs> it has a tail at the end. Okay. It has to peter off somewhere. Right. So, I would say it's more like that. Okay, Ghostbusters 2. I've never seen Ghostbusters 2. It's not very good. Um, the last, I actually really enjoyed it last time I saw it because I was drunk in like, some hipster wannabe biker bar. Where the little small bikes were in front of it. That plays down at five points, the end bar. I don't mm. know what it's called. But they had black cherry cider, and I was sipping on that, and I was feeling all right, because I was drinking fucking... Bro, they kept buying me fucking cranberry vodkas, mm. vodka cranberries, so I crushed like seven of those, and I was just like, I don't drink, what are you doing to me? I was messed up that night. I bet. Not as messed up as I've ever been, but I'll put it in C tier, I guess. Okay. It's all right. It's about that painting. And the painting is really the most iconic thing about it. But the rest of the story kind of sucks. Hmm. Glory? You ever seen Glory? I've seen Glory. Weird uh, cast. Let's put Fairless Bueller as a soldier. But... Right. Yeah. Uh, B? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's really long. Like, it is really yeah. long. You get that one scene with Denzel. Get your hands off me. That's always good. Yeah. He says that line a lot. Going overboard. Oh my goodness. I watched this because Adam Sandler and the two asses on the cover. And it's so bad. Uh, I've never seen it, but I could imagine. They, yeah, put that thing in the F tier dog. F? F. Okay. Halloween 5. You can go ahead and put Michael Myers next to Freddy for all I care. Oh, that movie sucks. Toes. Okay. Not Jason Freddy. Freddy's that one. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Harlem Nights. Have you not seen this movie? No, I haven't seen this movie. I it I know that you've seen this fucking movie. Fucking hilarious! And since I get to pick, it's gonna be the first thing in A tier dog. This motherfucker's so funny. You have three of the greatest black comedians of that era. Like you have obviously you got Red Fox, who like black comedy's first big breakout star. Richard Pryor, one of the goats. Eddie Murphy, he did Raw and Delirious around this time. And he was just kicking ass. You put all these three comedic geniuses together. You just have a fucking hilarious story. A very father-son 
a relationship in there too. Mm. You got corrupt cops, and just like they run an underground gambling bar, prostitute casino place. Okay. And it's just like an incredible world in the fifties and hilarious movie. Yeah. Favorite scene in that movie is a. Uh, they're trying to corrupt one of the bag men for a rival casino, and he, and he's talking to the prostitute lady. And he's like, I need a girl that's going to get him off his game. And she said, I got a girl. Her pussy's so good you can throw it in the air. And it becomes sunshine. And Red Fox, it's a joke because he can't see. So he wears his glasses and his eyes are super big. He's like, mmm. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I don't know what that would be if you threw a pussy in the air and made sunshine. but Yeah, that's a really confusing metaphor to me. It must be good. All right. Henry V. Never seen it. I've seen Henry the Fourth, not the Fifth. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. You ever seen this? <laughs> B. Yeah, I feel like it's really good. So but like, it probably hasn't my, aged well. My nostalgia heart says A, but I think realistically, it's, yeah, it's a B tier movie. All right. What's the sequel to that? Uh, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. That uh, that's a that's a that's that a D tier. I like that movie. Nah, it's kind of weird. What's, well, it's a movie about people who have a shrink ray. Of course, it's a little weird. Yeah, I mean, you could have something different with it. Um, all right. Maybe maybe he did it on purpose. Things like her pussy's finally tight after the three kids. Oh my goodness! All right, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. S. Yeah, there. Oh, no. Cannot be any debate about that. That this movie is. Got a fucking banger central over here. Yeah, like you look at this, dude. This is like that. Those four movies right there. That is just now. Like... I mean, obviously, Back to the Future two, on a wide scale, on like a wide American scale. Yeah, like those five are like top fifty movies, top hundred movies of all time, right? How many Oscars did those get? Probably none. Hmm. Do the right thing. Probably got like a writing Oscar or something like that. But like best picture. Yeah, I'd I don't think to any look. of those got yeah, best picture. Well, they couldn't have gotten Best Picture because Driving Miss Daisy got Best Picture. I'm talking about nominations. And these are all from I'm the sorry. same year. Nomination. I feel the dreams probably got nominated. I'd have to go look. I don't, I'm not sure. But. Hearing the Fifth probably got nominated. All right. Uh, I'm assuming you have not seen Kiki's Delivery Service. Nope. Cool. Then I get to pick. And that is an. <laughs> I was about to say a D. Damn. Easy A for me. Man, I love Miyazaki. You know, I was listening to a podcast on the way over here. Um, and they were, they were talking about, uh, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. And then they were also doing, uh, their top five animated movies of 2022. But they were talking about how, uh, underappreciated animation is in America because we, and by we Americans in general, I don't feel this way, uh, don't typically see animation as an art form for the mo like on a on a broad scale most americans just see animation as the thing you put in front of your kids to distract them and make them shut up for a little bit um and that makes me really sad because like miyazaki is a perfect example uh stop motion as an art form is another example uh if you can appreciate these movies as art because because this all was this was hand drawn, and when you watch the animation in the, in Miyazaki's movies, how fluid they are, um, and how detailed they are, and then you think about the fact that all of that was done by hand, drawn a single frame at a time, and then they put it together into this like incredible adventure movie. Uh, it is something really special to me, at least, but. I love how we both was like, we get to pick on this one. Yeah. Throw it in A. Yeah. <laughs> Lean on me. I've heard of that movie. I haven't seen it. Me neither. I think that's Sam Jackson. I think. Maybe. Lethal Weapon 2. Bro. I'm going to listen to the fucking soundtrack on cassette with on my walk, man. Fuck what you heard. That's an A for me, son. Okay. As long I wasn't going to argue with you as long as you didn't say S. I wasn't going to say S. I've had... I, I have morals... Like, I can understand that Lethal Weapon 2 is not do the right thing. But if it was Lethal Weapon right. 1, 
It would be up there. Yeah. Lethal Weapon 1's an S-tier movie to me. All right. You have not seen any James Bond movies. Nope. All right. License to Kill. I don't remember it super well um, in that I could not tell you the plot or the bad guy or anything like that. But I have seen it. I don't remember being super, like, blown away by it. So I'm just going to throw it in C. Was that Rick Dalton? Uh, <laughs> that's not him. What's his name? Dalton. <laughs> One of them's Dalton, right? Yeah. Um, dang it! I literally could have told you before you said that, but now all I'm going to think of is, I'm Rick fucking Dalton. Oh um, man. Um. Gosh, dang it! I can literally name every other Bond in my head right now. Timothy Dalton. Oh, oh, Tim D. Yeah. Little Monsters. That's not a good movie. It's not. It 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 gets way too much nostalgia. It's a it has bump. charm to it though. I do think. Yeah, I agree. So I throw it in D. Yeah, I'm good with that. Nemo. <laughs> Nemo hoes. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that. Me neither. Plot twist: It's about a real life father. Who loses his son? <laughs> uh, lock up. One of the few Stallone movies I haven't seen. Mm. So I know you haven't seen it. But I haven't seen it. Yeah, look who's talking. It's got charm to it. I hate. I hate these kind of movies. No, I, w- I wouldn't say F. I was gonna D. I was that's gonna fine. put it next to Little Monsters. Yeah, because most babies are little monsters. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's fair. All right, one that we both love. This is tough. Very much. Major League. Personally, I want to say S, but rightfully so is probably an A. Yeah, I agree. I literally had the same thought. Like, I don't want it to be an A, but yeah. it's so fucking good, though. Yeah, my heart says S, but, like, the realist in me is, like, uh, it truly it belongs, yeah. in, it belongs in A. And these are, like, mostly a non-biased list. Yeah. And we do mean non-biased, because we had it our way. Dead Poet Society would be an F. <laughs> That's true. Um, music Box. Nope. My Left Foot. That was Music Box, like, that shit got nominated for an Oscar that year. <laughs> My Left Foot, I definitely know, got nominated that year. Um, I haven't seen it. Me neither. I know it's about uh, Daniel Day-Lewis painting with his foot. That's it. Mystery Train? No, nope. Heard great things about it. Christmas Vacation. I know you have feelings about this. I know you have feelings about this. Uh-huh. But, honestly, I would go B. I don't want to argue. I think B is rightful. Again, I so anytime there's a movie that I know that I have a specific feeling about, but I know that you like it, I have like this limit already in my head where I'm like, okay, if he How says... How petty can I be? If he says over this, then I'm going to argue. And literally in my head, I was like, if he says A or S, I'm going to argue. But if he says B or less, then I'm just going to take it. I think that's the rightful place for it. I'm fine. Whatever. Where would you put it? If this was a biased list and you was doing it by I'd yourself. probably put it in C. I, don't, I thought you was going to go D. I don't think these... Listen, I, I go so hard on the vacation movies because of just how hyped up they are. Like In, re, in, like in reality, they are as mediocre as you can get to be. But, but I trash them a lot harder than that because th- the opposition that I am against is so great. Parenthood? Not Steve Martin's best. I'll go C. Okay, never seen it. All right, Steve Martin's a funny motherfucker. He's one of those people where I've went out of my way. If I see a movie of his on streaming, it's like, this is what I'm watching now. Worth checking out. Yeah. yeah. Pet Cemetery. I'm not a horror guy. But it is a Stephen King movie, so it is considered a classic in the horror genre. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know, it's a little cheesy with those effects and, like, dead animals and shit. I'm gonna go D. Yeah, I've never seen it, so. Because I don't think you need to see it. I don't know what this movie is. I don't know what it is either. Can't tell if those are, like, Nazis or... Don't know. 
Okay, well, that one's just going and haven't seen because we don't know what movie that is. Roadhouse. Oddly enough, haven't seen this. Oh, I've seen Roadhouse. Roadhouse was fun. I you know, like it. Another Dalton movie. Huh? His character's name Dalton. I know that. Oh. And that one guy says, I used to fuck guys <laughs> like you in prison. I was about to say, that's Patrick Swayze. What are you talking about? Yeah, but his name's Dalton. <laughs> no, movie. yeah, it is. Uh, are the bars named Dalton's? I don't know. I want to go see. I need to see it. It's an action movie. Yeah. So. I, I like it. It's fun. It's not my alley. Roger and me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say anything. I'm really confused. Is Roger the... Chair? Chair? Or is he Roger? I think Roger's invisible. No. That makes sense. That's just a guess, though. Alright. Where are we putting old John Cusack in his boombox? I think B's that classic territory. Yeah. I, Low classic territory. I agree. Uh, say anything, honestly, to me... It's the boombox scene. Yeah. It, that's pretty much it. I don't like it... Nearly as much as I like other John Hughes, John Hughes stuff. Agreed. Um, I think I think say anything is honestly just a touch overrated, but that's one list we haven't done just because he doesn't make movies anymore. John Hughes, that'd be a good fucking list. Yeah, that'd be a good list. All right, Sea of Love. You know what this that looks like? Oh, like, like those like dollar store romance novels that were on that like spinny rack in the middle of an aisle. That looks like a Fatal Attraction ripoff. I got my boy Pacino looking scared. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Me neither. <laughs> We're about even out on the... I haven't right. seen See no evil, hear no evil. I want to go A, but it's more of like a B-tier movie. It's I, fucking yeah, hilarious. I, I literally... We're on the same page again. This movie is hilarious. Yeah. Dude, that combo. Those dudes, man. The, Fire and Wilder is fucking good. Yeah, the movies they made together... So much fun. The fucking shower scene with the gun and everything. Right. Yes. Incredible stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. Lies and videotape. Sex lies and videotape. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. Me neither. Shirley Valentine? I don't know her. Me neither. Speed something, right? Excuse me. It looks like it says swag. <laughs> What's the bottom word? It's two words. Oh, speed zone. I was saying that. Yeah. All that for fucking speed zone. Um, Star Trek, I think that's five, The Final Frontier. Bro, right, what's up with fives? Friday the 13th, 5. Nightmare on Elm Street, 5. Halloween, 5. Yeah. Star Trek, 5. I haven't seen it. Yeah, me either. Steel Magnolias. That's a Twenty favorite. Mama Wayne lost that movie. I haven't seen it, though. I've seen it, but I haven't wanted to see it. And I don't remember anything about it. I was going to say, have you seen it enough to rate it? No. Me neither. That and Fried Green Tomatoes, they're the same movie to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no difference. All right. Tango and Cash. That's a C. I really like Kurt Russell and I love Stallone because he's Rocky and Rocky's great. But Meh. it's an alright action movie. Not the right home to mob out. Abyss. Haven't seen it. I mean, we talked about this when we did the James Cameron top five. That motherfucker loves water. The Burbs. I really enjoy this movie. I think it's very funny. It's weird. And it's obviously like John Hanks when his comedy bag. Tom Hanks? John Hanks. Who's John Hanks? Is that his brother? <laughs> no. That's, 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 the, that's the homie who used to do videos with us. Um, Hanks. Uh, I would go C tier. Okay. I've never seen it. So. Really? I feel like you would really enjoy that. If it's on streaming, you need to check it out one day. It's one of those you can watch at work probably. Hmm. You can multitask. It's not that important. Yeah. So it's really funny. That looks like a porno. That's a porno. The cook, the thief, the wife, and the lover? That's a porno. I don't know. I've never seen it. I'm assuming you haven't either. No. Um, The Fabulous Baker Boys? Nah, that also looks like a porno. The Fly 2. This is an F-tier movie. Because we couldn't get Jeff Goldblum back. 
So you know what we do? We throw a dog in the fly machine. <laughs> right. That's what they did for real. No, I know. Stupid. You've seen it? No, I but I know the plot. Uh, well, I knew about the dog. I should put. I, I don't know the stuff. plot. Karate Kid Part Three. D. Yeah, I've never seen it. The Killer. That's a John Woo movie that I have not seen. But it's John Woo, so it'd probably be actually really good. That'd probably be like an A B tier movie. Okay. The Little Mermaid. I think it has to go in B or A. I'm leaning more towards B. Because it would not make my top five Disney movies. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I was uh, shitting on the live action remake that we're getting in an earlier video we did earlier today. Uh, But the OG Little Mermaid, that shit is colorful. It is fun. Honestly, I get under the sea stuck in my head at least once a month. Like It didn't have a bad cartoon on Disney Channel either. Right. So, uh, yeah, I like Little Mermaid. The War of the... Roses. Negatory. Yep. I want to see four of our those last movies. Have you seen The Wizard? No. Me neither. Have you seen Turner and Hooch? This is a video game movie. I'm surprised you haven't seen it. About Nintendo. Yeah, I know. It, yeah, and it looks like it sucks, which is why I've never <laughs> seen it. I'll probably throw a Turner Hooch from the Burbs territory. Okay. You, you like know, dogs. You probably love that movie. Yeah, you know how I feel about live action dog movies. UHF? No. You never seen it? It's it's super quirky. Uh, I mean, it's Weird Al. So I heard. Like, so I liked it as a kid because I liked weird things. Uh, in all honesty, my I want to put it in C, but it's, it's probably a D. It, it is wacky. It is very much so a product of the 80s. Um, but it is for a very, very specific type of person. <laughs> I know that type of person. Isaac, huge fan. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Huge fan. Uncle Buck. It's Donna's most famous movie, so that leads it off of A. But I kind of want to put an A, but I'm okay at B. Okay, I've never seen it. Really? Really. Let's go with B then. I think that's more fair. Okay. And make this list long as fuck. Valmont? Nope. Weekend at Bernie's. I think this movie's fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. It has the most stupid outlandish premise ever. Yeah. Because he's going to stink. But it's okay. <laughs> We're not going to think about that during this hour and a half run time. Right. I'll throw it in C tier. I want to throw it in B tier, but it's, it's I don't know. I find this going to be hilarious. It's definitely iconic. Yeah, it's a like, product of its time. Yeah. Like, if they made that movie today, it would be a lot of stoner and fart jokes. Right. All right. And then ending off on a very, very high note. When I Harry can't remember if you've seen this movie or not yet. Yeah, I have seen you it. You have seen I've it? I've actually seen it twice now. And then I've seen, like, little bits of it in pieces because my wife finally got me to watch it. It was incredible. And then after we watched it, she had this, like, kick where it was just, like, her background movie for, like, two weeks. So every time I, like, walk through the living room or come in from somewhere when Harry Met Sally was on. um, I, like, sat down and physically watched that movie start to finish six times in a year. Nice. I've already seen it, and it was just, like, this is my movie for the year, you know? Yeah. This is S tier for me. It's top five favorite movies of all time for me. Yeah. I, I think it's the most, I think it's the greatest romantic comedy ever made. And I, I adore it. I can't get enough of it. One of the best scripts. If we ever did top five favorite scripts of all time, this is in my top five favorite movie scripts of all time. Yeah. And so looking at it in the context of 1989, it almost makes me like it even more. Because When Harry Met Sally is a very real and like a very grounded story and script in a time where almost everything else was just like wacky as shit. Like, uh... Like, do the right thing. Like, its story isn't wacky, but it's, it's like some of its characters are, and its <laughs> colors are. Field of Dreams is a very grounded story, but it is, a, it is about a bunch, like a bunch of ghosts coming to play baseball. And, you know, Indiana Jones, an, an absolute adventure classic, but still 
out there. So like, oh, you just good Batman ninety nine. Well, and then like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jack, for itself. Jack Nicholson's Joker is, you know, it speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah. you want to get nuts, like you know, uh, and then so the fact that when Harry met Sally is such like a small and intimate and like grounded story, and they have these little like cut ins of like real life couples and things like that. Uh, for it to have come out when it came out makes me yeah. like it even more. Because, so, like, that movie wouldn't work today. They try to remake it. Yeah. He would be stalking her on Facebook or hit her up on Tinder. Like, it would just ruin the movie that way. Yeah. I can't remember what I was watching the other day. I was watching some movie the other day, and I was just like, man, the amount of movie plots that just wouldn't work anymore because cell phones, cell phones exist is, like, pretty I'm nuts. Undeniable. Yeah. That'd be a really funny bluster or, like, a TikTok series. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. But... Tell us what we did wrong in the comment section down below because we probably did something wrong there. Something you didn't like. Tell us if there's any movies that we haven't seen that we really need to see. Yeah. I'm always open to suggestions. Yeah. But that is the tier list for eight, 1989. Make sure you comment as I said. Scroll back. Oh, if you don't want to, don't, don't comment. I don't, don't do it because I told you to do it. Do it because you want to do it. But scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Yeah, sir.